Hey guys, I trust you're having an amazing day. Um, so in this video, I would like to talk to you about protective equipment you should be wearing when practicing Wing Chun. Okay, now at my school, I encourage every student to wear protective equipment. So in this video, I would like to address the type of pads I recommend you get for your training and uh, the reasons why you should get these particular pads. Okay, now number one, you want to protect your hands. Okay, so in my school, we have students wear two particular uh, types of gloves and this is what I use all the time. Number one, you want to get like an MMA style glove like this, right? And a boxing glove, okay? Now, there are benefits to both of these type of gloves. Number one, the benefit of having an MMA style glove is that you can grab, you can slap, okay? With this one, you have way more protection over your hands and knuckles. Now, which type of um, glove would you be using most of the time? It really depends on the technique that you're drilling, okay? Now, if you're just getting started, you may say uh, MMA glove is just fine, and that's basically true because you know, you can do all the different punching techniques, you can tan sao, gang sao, kwan, bong, lap, you can do all sorts of different cool Wing Chun techniques with that glove. When you start to pressure test techniques, or maybe behind me you can see that in our particular interpretation of Wing Chun, in applied Wing Chun, we use tire dummies. And uh, when you're working on a hook or an uppercut on the dummy, you don't want to scrape your knuckles, then a boxing glove is the glove for you. When you're drilling on pressure testing techniques with your training partner and you're going with um, a pretty strong, fast, accurate punch to the face and the other person's doing a technique where it, it involves maybe them using that elbow and smashing it, smashing it on your hand, then you'll want to wear a boxing glove instead of a uh, MMA glove, right? Now, what about the forearms? I highly recommend you wear a forearm guard. Now, there are different types of forearm guards. You have some like foam dipped like this, then you have the other one, the old school, that looks more like a sock, right? And uh, with the foam padding on your forearm. Any of these would work just fine. Uh, many people uh, will maybe say you don't need pads when you're training Wing Chun. I disagree. If you're working on building your confidence in a martial arts system, you need to work with accuracy, proper distance, proper timing. You need to wear, uh, use power, speed, body mechanics behind your technique. So if you're attacking me with a proper punch, a proper kick, or whatever it may be, and I want to build my confidence knowing that I can take care of myself, then 100% you will need pads because you're gonna be going pretty fast and hard and again you don't want to drill something for 10-15 times and then stop because you're sore. You want to keep on doing it until you get the technique just right. So forearm pads. Once you um, have covered or now that we've covered hands and forearms then you need something to protect your shins, your legs. Right so most of my students will wear something like this. Okay. Um, Maybe you want to get something that's got double padding towards the shin bone. And most definitely you need a shin pad that also has the foot protector. Okay, because again in Wing Chun, uh, we do a lot of techniques that will go towards the foot, not just the shin. So you want to wear something like this. Now, with pads, I recommend whenever you practice, to feed the attack the proper way. Meaning you don't want to always punch, let's say holding back maybe half a meter away from the punch. You want to really work on proper distance. So that way the person that you're drilling with can really build their confidence knowing that they can take care of themselves when dealing with these type of attacks. Same with the kick, same with the punch. And so that's why I highly recommend you wear pads, right, protective equipment. Once you understand the technique that you're learning, right, and you have a bit of confidence when working on it, then the next step is for you to do it randomly, okay? You don't always want to practice in a systematic way where you feed me right, I feed you right, you feed me left, and then we'll do it 10 times and I go 10 times. Forget about that. 
you learn that in the beginning and then once you understand that concept, bang, you have to go straight away onto random attacks, right? Back and forth to get a real feel and grasp the nature of the technique. And only then you will know if you can handle yourself with that given attack. That will build your confidence. Then you'll know for sure you can take care of yourself. And uh, yeah, so on that note, um, I hope you really go ahead and uh, take my advice, get some pads, and uh, all the best with your training. See you on the next one.